Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you a way how to have or set up the development environment in a Windows machine. We will need three different tools in order to achieve this. A package manager, who is the one who is going to give you the opportunity to install the other two. They are Python, the programming language that we're going to use in this semester, and Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the text editor that we are going to use to write our programs. There are different ways to actually install Python. The book came with a, an approach to download the package from the website and install it. But I will have a different approach that I believe is going to be better and probably faster. So again, we need to open our browser and we need to navigate to chocolate.org the package manager for Windows this will help us how to install different software and automate those in order to install it we click install chocolate now we scroll up a little bit and we have two different forms for installation from the command prompt or from PowerShell. We will use the one for command prompt. We need to copy the whole element. We can just drag and drop. It is important to select everything inside this, this, this box. Right click, copy. And then we open the command prompt with a search bar, type in CMD. Before actually open it, we need to run it as an administrator. We can just click here in the right panel and we'll open it as administrator. But if you don't see this right panel, you can actually right click and that option will be available. So we just click it. We give permissions to run and the command prompt will be open. Important note, we need to see administrator on the top. In order to paste the code that we just copy, we just right click and enter. And chocolate is going to be start installing. When we see the prompt again, we can actually verify if Choco was installed running the Choco command. If we see the version in there, we are fine. We are okay to proceed. The next step is going to see is going to be installed Python. The version of Python that we are going to use is Python 3. At the moment that I record this video, I believe 372 is the current version. If you have a new newer one, it doesn't matter. The normal way to install it is with choco command install python space dash y. This means to whenever it will ask you something, do you want to install it or accept some kind of license? It will type yes by default. And we just click enter and we wait some minutes. Perfect, now that Python is installed, we need to install Visual Studio Code. Run the command choco, install VS Code. In this case, I didn't put the dash Y, so it's asking me if I want to run the script, so I need to interact and put Y in there, enter. It's asking me again, I say Y again.
And that's it. So Visual Studio Code and Python are installed. We just close everything. And let's create our folder where we are going to work. We can actually use desktop or we can go to my documents whenever is better for you. So let's say, for like example, open documents. I will create a new folder. I will say Python project. And right click, open with code. So now this is the code is open. We need to install the Python. We need to configure our Visual Studio Code to work with Python. In order to do that, we click this little square on the left. It's called the extension menu. And we can look for Python, or more likely you will see it with like the first option there. If not, if it's not there, we just type Python and it will appear. We install it. Click in the install button. We we'll wait for a couple of minutes. When it finishes, we just click reload. And the station is enabled now. We go back to the Explorer view. It's the icon with two sheets on the top left. And we are in the Python projects folder. In order to continue, we need to open the terminal. In this semester, we are going to be using the terminal to compile our code. So we just click it and create new terminal. And it will open on the bottom. And we do the when we need to create a, a file, there is a couple way to do it. We can type like code command and name of file dot pi. This is going to be the extension that we're going to use for the Python files. This will create a uh, files empty and open it in Visual Studio Code directly on the top. You can see a name of file there and it's open. In order to test it, let's just type the next command. You put print open parenthesis double quote hello there I'm running from Python important we need to close the double quote and we need to close the parenthesis we use this line we need to save it We can install the, the pillin if you want. If not, you can actually just don't show again. It doesn't matter. And then to compile, we need to put the code Python space the name of the file. And we click enter. Hello. I'm running from Python. Perfect. Our development environment in Windows Machine is already complete.